Yes guys, how are you doing? So those of you who have been following my channel for a while will know that I've tried other vodka flavours in the past. And the other day on my YouTube channel I had a message asking me if I could try blackjack chews. And I thought, what a great idea, but why not also use some other flavoured chews? So I've got here fruit salad, drumstick, refresher, and of course, blackjack chews. And all you need to make it is your vodka, bowls to put it in, plastic containers and a funnel. So let's go on with it shall we? So the first thing you've got to do is take all them fiddly sweets out of the wrappers. But don't worry, I'm not going to put you through the boredom and watch me do that, because I've done it already. And here they are. So what you've got to do is put them in each individual tub, like so, and your next job is to add the vodka. <laughs> Then pop the lid on. And as you can see, just after a few minutes, the colours from the chews are already infusing into the vodka. So your next step is to pop them in the fridge. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, the longer you leave them in the fridge, the better they're going to taste for you. So that bit is up to you. One eternity later. So guys, I've finally taken them out of the fridge. What well, seems like an eternity, but it was only a few days. So let's have a look how it turned out, shall we? And as you can see, all the sweets are more or less dissolved. There's the refresher, the drumstick, the blackjack, and the fruit salad. And all that's left to do now is strain it. And all you need for this is a jug, a strainer, I've got a tea strainer, and kitchen rolls. But you can use coffee filter paper. And all you've got to do is drain all the sugar off the sweets. Like so. And once all the sugar has been filtered off, you'll be left with something that looks like this. A nice purified, blackjack flavoured vodka. And all you've left to do is repeat this process three more times. One hour later. So I'll strain them off the best I can, pour them into the empty bottles, and as you can see, there's a little bit of sugar flowing to the top, but a lot less than last time. But you can strain them as many times as you want. Now there's only one last thing to do, and that's to taste them. And if you've been following me for a while, you know the drill right now. Light work. Well I can't let you know what my favourite flavour is just yet, until I try them again but they all tasted just as good as each other and I'm pleased how they've turned out. And if you give them a go guys, let me know in the box below. And also, don't forget, if you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching.